you're the move clinic down in dorchester right uh, i am so yes. we're gonna we're gonna talk about your 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 new adventure into shockwave and um mm -hmm. so just just can you let everyone know where you're at and what's your profession what do you do etc yeah I, I am an osteopath and i am based in poundbury uh dorchester poundbury's like prince charles's development um that is um yeah so we're, we're poundbury dorchester and i've got three treatment rooms here i've got three osteopaths and we're all using shockwave and um yeah we've got other multi multi-disciplinary practice with other practitioners from other professions as well okay uh, but and what, what are they you've got you've got a podiatrist or a we have a um we we do podiat we do um insoles here as well um so we've got um fits technology as well um foot scan technology which uh, does gait analysis and insoles. And we've got a massage therapist here as well. We've got a, re uh, a hand therapist, uh, NHS hand therapist who works at the clinic. We've got a reflexologist as well. Uh, we've got a neurophysio in the clinic, which is a worth his weight in gold, treating right. MS, strokes, Parkinson's. So he's, he's brilliant. So we are expanding and the clinic is, you know, it's, it's we're ex full. Fine. We need, a, need more help. Well, your journey into this, I know from looking back through my messages, was you got hold of me in November, didn't you? And asked me about yeah. Shockwave because you couldn't, well, I think your words were like, you know, it's, everything you read seems to be that it's an obvious fit with your clinic. Yeah. Um, so so how, talk me through a, a quick a quick bit about how you sort of came to that point, because it's been around for about 10 years now. But I think the momentum yeah. behind Shockwave is really building. So what made you make that decision? Um so yeah, obviously I was I was reading things about it, and I, and I first heard of it in about after I qualified in 2011. I first heard of it pretty, pretty soon after then, and um, and then it went quiet in my head. And then in the last two years, I've been reading more and more about it on, on relevant Facebook groups and um, the odd research paper that came out and hearing about it and think people talking about it for plantar plantar fasciopathy and things. Um, and I thought I was noticing it, and then it came to a tipping point where I saw you some a lot of your comments um, in the uh, media rounds doing and saying how good it was. And I just, I just thought, hang on a minute, I'm just going to find out a little bit more about this. And the more I found out, the more it made sense. And then I started listening to some podcasts about it um, with yourself. And uh, I, for me, I was, it was, an, it was a no brainer and I was hooked. And uh, right. I, so how, how long have you had your machine now? And what machine have you got? I've got Storz 100 um, okay. there. It is. And, <laughs> and uh, I've got it in what, November. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so it's now uh, April. So I've only, I'm, I'm, a nov I'm still a novice, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I feel like I've had it forever. And it's yeah, been amazing. It's been a great journey so far. Yeah, fine. Okay. So you're sharing it with your other, mostly your other two osteopaths. Yeah. I'm encouraging okay. them to use it as much as they, I'm encouraging them to use it as much as they can. Yeah, uh, that's the ethos. Um, yeah, and are you are you using it as an add-on or as a, a part of what you do as an osteopath? That's the interesting thing. Um, I'm using it. Um, I started using it as um, I didn't want to. I didn't want patients to pay for it to start with because I wanted to know what its limitations were and what it was capable of and what yeah. kind of results I was going to get first. So I did start it um, uh, as as an adjunct in in a, in a session, a clinical osteopathic session. Yep. Um, for uh, patients, so patients coming in, for example, with plantar fascia or Achilles tendinopathy, um, and uh, I would say to them, try and encourage them that shockwave might be a great adjunct, to, um, and, and that you know I've got this machine and the research. It's all in the nice guidelines, and the research is amazing, and um, and and most practically all the time, patients would be, yeah, great, let's give it a go. And, but the results I was getting, it was finding I was fast tracking their improvement. Um, yeah. And they instantly they, were, they knew that it was helping, which was separate to the, the, the hands-on and all the rehab and all the advice that they were getting separately. They could feel that there was actually something tangible going on. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it, 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 I knew it was getting results. And then the more I started using it, the more um, I felt confident to... Um, charge people and yeah, yeah. so christmas was my cutoff I was like well i need to charge i need to charge everyone here it's costing you know it does cost money i'm paying for it 
Um, and so the charge is £75 for a, for a, if we use Shockwave, I'm charging £75. So no is good value and that might need to... What, what's your normal fee then? So what, what normal is £50 is yep. my normal follow-up follow up session. Yep. So follow-up osteopathy, 40 minutes, yep. £50 down here in this region. That's pretty uh, standard for this area. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if I use Shockwave, it's 75 and that's the bottom line and i explain that to them now and i've got the confidence to say that yeah. and um and it has to happen you have to you have to do that and it's the same with my associates i wanted them to give them exposure to exposure to lots of patients yeah to start with yeah and they're using it now with more confidence good and what what, the, what have you found first four or five months what have you found that it's most useful for and all of the things that you're seeing um okay plants of fasciopathy Mm -hmm. along with it fits nicely with your orthotics and everything else that you're doing so you yeah say, it, anyway. it really works really well from that so it is positioned the clinic well from a sort mm -hmm. of lower limb rehab helping yeah. yeah point of view and the other thing that i is working i use it seem to work it use it more than anything else is um subchromial related pain rotator cuff issues okay yeah um, and I, now i treat a lot i like i like treat right i like treating shoulders just basically I've had a lot of shoulder injuries myself, yeah. um, and um, and we seem to get a lot of shoulder problems here. Uh, and I'm using it for rotator cuff related problems. Uh, you know, just the radial shockwave machine into some of the adhesions um, into the uh, proximal humerus area. Um, it seems to work amazingly, it's getting incredible results. I can't believe it. It's often a bit of a tricky one. So you never know how it's going to go with a subacromial related pain. You never know how people are going to improve with treatment. Um, yeah. And it adds, I'm t I'm, honestly, it adds so much to my practice. I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, fine. How you, how you, you, you're going to have to get three machines, right? If your osteopaths are all swapping around in rooms and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or get focused. Uh, yeah, that's or get idea. focused. Yeah, yeah. I think I genuinely thinking. Right, okay. Where's this going to go? Um, also, yeah. I need to save my hand. So, yeah, uh, I'm ten years ahead of you, and that's that's partly why I, do. <laughs> I, I got my I got the same MP100 that I got in 2012, and right. it still starts up every morning, which is why oh, I really? recommended. recommended oh, it still works. Really? I just happen really? to have added refocus to that now, so I've got quite a few. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So, I did you? As osteopaths, we know this because, you know, we're osteopaths. You, you sort of uh, are pretty much thinking you can heal everything with your fingers and hands. So we, we, we pretty much don't get much electrotherapy training at college, right? So do, yeah. you, do you use anything else on top of the shock, shockwave? Do you, do you use laser? Do you use anything, any of, that, any of those things? No, I'm very open to using, using laser and um, using ultrasound. I'm very open mm -hmm. to it. And I think diagnostically, ultrasound is one at some point um would be a fantastic thing um and i've referred a couple of patients recently to a chiropractor who's a right. uses who's ultra sonographer oh, di well. oh diagnostic ultrasound right but what i meant yeah. do you, you don't use any other electrical treatment modalities no just shockwave sorry just shockwave just shockwave yeah okay. just shockwave. right that's interesting but that was your first thing that you exposed yourself to was one of the more expensive ones but as i found out when i did my Bit of research I was like well that's got the most evidence so why would i you know spend any money that, on anything? that was the that was the selling point for me the evidence the weight the sheer weight of evidence behind it yeah. and that's my selling i find that's my selling point to patients yeah. so because i know that you know they come and see and someone say oh here we go this guy's trying to sell me something he's got a device or he's paid a lot of money for that and wants the new but when you start talking the hardest thing for me was the selling point to the patients, justifying yeah. its use, and actually have you, thinking. Have you found any? Have you found any problems with that? Because a lot of people have perceptions about the fact that oh, they're asking for more money. And when I yeah. try, when I'm teaching it, I say, "Well, look, you you can justifiably say, look, it, it costs a lot of money. This technology, yeah. um, and, I, and you know, I need to reimburse that, and yeah. I'm afraid that that's going to cost a bit more." But that was my biggest. Really that was my big, I think that was my biggest hurdle, my biggest mm. fear, because you know, I don't feel as though I can't sell anything. I cannot sell anything unless I believe in it. I have right. to be passionate about about it. But working on the machine and being a pit from the receiving end, doing you know, understanding how it works on myself, yeah. and helping myself has been a big part of it. And then yeah. seeing the results I get with patients now has given me the confidence to go, 
of course, you, of course, you need it. You need to trust me with my clinical experience and my, um, you know, I think you genuinely will improve with this. And then, and, and patients do. And sometimes it's not for them. And I, and I, and I will, you know, you've got to recognize that as well. But um, yeah, the, the selling point, I listen to a lot of, so the, the, the mechanical, Nate, the mechan- with the mechanics transaction, all of that, and, and given that spiel and the, the 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 history of the Second World War and how it was then used shockwave harnessing for lithotripsy and then progressing to soft tissue injuries and, and promoting cellular growth. And you talk to people and explain what the nature of the mechanism of how it works. Yeah. Then people go, oh, so the spiel is massively important as it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think people. I think people are are a bit afraid of saying, "Look, we have to, you know, the patient has to buy into what we're selling." And you know, it's not like we're selling something that's not got evidence base. We are, but you shouldn't be afraid to sort of say, "Look, this really works." Let's not do, you know. Yeah. It, you could, when people come onto Facebook, which is the sort of thing you found me through, and they say, "You know, should I get a laser machine, shockwave machine?" I'm like, just need to look at the evidence base. The weight of evidence for shockwave versus any any other electrotherapy device on the market is just you know overwhelming, and it fits with what we do with our hands. Everything we do with our hands is mechanotransduction. But um, yeah. when, they say, when, they, when they say it's got a little bit of, you know, not, not great evidence, this, I'm like, well, if you can show me any great evidence that says what we do with our fingertips is amazing, then then come yeah. back to me. It's all a yeah. little vague. So, you know, and even if you say that you pair it down to the fact that, you know, you're going to have a long career and you want to save your hands a bit. Um, but as you as you realise, you said something really important that I, I realised when I've got my machine on trial the 10 years ago, is that we see as osteopaths lots of patients sort of fairly regularly. I don't so much anymore, but these are patients you see all the time. And then when you introduce Shockwave into it, um, their symptom improvement just went, freedom. Yeah. And I was like, right, I've got to buy this because the usual stuff I was doing was just, you know, I'm 30, 40% better. And then they go back again and then you pick them up again two, two months later. And yeah. 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 at some point in your career, you want to change that up a bit. Right. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, you said about your shoulder and um, yeah. the other one, plantar fasciitis. Do you, have you treated any lateral hips and hamstring uh, stuff? Yeah. No. GTPS, yeah. my word. Yeah. I mean, That's fine. Right. There's more coming out. I find the more I'm switched onto it, more through with Shockwave now, seeing the results I get, I will always ask. So next question, have you got any other issues around the hip? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got lateral hip. I've got hip pain on the outside. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. And then and then you realize you can almost be diagnostic, I find, with the, with the Shockwave. And when I'm yeah. treating, I'm thinking, hang on a minute, there's adhesions throughout this whole lateral thigh. And they've got a bit of a knee issue and they're pronating and and it's not just the the medial meniscal issue it's actually some soft tissue adhesions on the lateral aspect of the thigh which are contributing to it yeah so and then you can take that you can remove that soft tissue barrier and all of a sudden things this is what i'm finding people so loads of gtps um women you know obviously uh, postmenopausal Lack of estrogen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's yeah, yeah. that mechanic. They've got a mechanical component to their problem. I'm finding, yeah, shockwave is hugely obviously yeah. there's other drivers for it as well. But, but um, there's an osteopath. And, I, I think the um the other courses that Ven put on, I teach one of those about uh, yeah. we do spinal approach with shockwave. With some some interesting studies done on that, and I used it for spinal pain for chronic ipsilateral right. pain. Um, I'll send right. you the link after this, but I've really good brilliant. papers on that. Um, and you can you know those ones that just are so ingrained and you you know you can't get in there and change it and um then yeah. you can get some really nice results three or four sessions of that but some of the more the other are you going to go on any more courses with the I think do you know what I, I, it's um i yes um the next one i, I want to go on is a, a focus radio one um and right, i'm gonna okay. and i'm gonna i'm sending my associates on a radio course that's what oh, okay. I'm gonna, the ven ven radio, radio course that's yeah. It's just finding a date that works for them. We're indoors, we're miles away from you, from everyone yeah, in London yeah. uh, or Liverpool. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, the spinal spinal problems is where I haven't even I've tried it on a couple of patients, but I haven't have, haven't yet got the confidence that yeah. I don't know. I, I probably need to buy some more app, different applicators. I want to do. Yeah. The, I want to focus on neck. I'm doing like the trapezius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I'm with with obviously associated with many. Uh, sh- shoulder issues and, and, and I'm finding wow I'm getting some results there as well and lobatus scapula yeah. insertion is really good for that area this is the what sorry lobatus scapula right on to that tip point that works okay. really nicely but uh, don't be afraid we still get questions now can I use it over the lungs and so forth yep yeah, you're, you're all good you're fine as long as it doesn't go about three and a half bar which is known as sort of high energy 
So if you okay. keep two and a half, three bar, you're safe. You're okay. Yeah, because this is the thing. It's, it's all about confidence. That's what yeah. I'm finding. All about confidence and using knowing that screening, screening the patient, knowing all the contraindications, explaining it's safe, it's not invasive, it's effective, and um, and the areas, and you've got to know your anatomy. And obviously, for focus, you're going to have to know your anatomy. Yeah. Really. Um, and I'm excited to, I'm really excited to take this on. See that. Uh, Coming through. Uh, <laughs> so would you, yeah. just last thing, would you give any, what, what sort of advice if you give to people that are looking at this sort of area and thinking, should I, shouldn't I, what would be your summary? I mean, it's coming, you're enthusiastic about this and you're living <laughs> for four months, right? So a bit, I, my wife would tell me to calm down right now. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, but no, I, I would say to anyone who is thinking about getting a um, shockwave, big radial shockwave machine i would say uh do it because it works and i know and i can say that from being a patient and being a practitioner and getting my own bank of clinical knowledge that it's actually at providing a whole nother um arena a area of of improvement for the patient that i didn't i you know you can get you can get stay as a practitioner and get, uh, yeah 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 and you can see, just, I, 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 I certainly went on that journey like you are. I mean, I'm still enthusiastic, not as much yeah. as you are, but I'm getting on a bit. But, you know, it's led to me doing other things like ultrasonography. So I'm a sonographer as well now. And I, I use that with focused. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. My career has gone in a different direction, which I, I look back to just, you know, clicking backs and stretching backs and foraminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thinking, oh, I think I, 20 years later, I think I'll be pretty bored of that. But uh, you can see it in you. It's nice. It's revitalized you a little bit and you get enthusiastic about this stuff. Yeah. Which is, uh, I, great. Yeah. It's, a, it's a thing that you don't think is going to happen, but it does. And it's like, there's a bonus. I, I wasn't expecting, you know, I, I got the, um, I got orthotic technology and gait analysis and it's brilliant. And that's added something. Yeah. But shockwave has added for me personally, it's as a practitioner, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a whole extra 30%. Good for you. No, I think you probably wanted us to do all this in five minutes. And so we're going to probably have to call it uh, quits there. But thanks. Thanks very much for your feedback and doing this for us. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I hope I didn't bang on too much about it. No, you that. didn't. No, it's, I think that people will just get the enthusiasm from you and the, con the real world living of it, which obviously, yeah. you know, we sort of bang on about. But, you know, the fact that you've done it four or five months and you're still like this living that, it's uh, it's nice to hear, right? And we, yeah, which, I've got, it's, a yeah. Bit, it's a bit better than just the dry research facts that we talk about. I know. You're doing it clinically day to day going, this is great. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, I, I did one thing I probably should have said, actually, is I treat, you know, this week I've got 40, I think I've 42 patients in the diary this week. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I'd say a third, a third of those are shockwave. I'm yeah, doing, yeah. I'm, I, I've treated four, five shockwaves today. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, five, five were shockwaves. Great day. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, happy hands, not even sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that finger's a bit crooked, but it's getting straighter. Yeah, the, 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 the um, yeah, so, so, I don't know what to say. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You've said enough, yeah. I think. I think we're going to have to let them edit some of this stuff out. And, um, well, no doubt we'll speak again if any, if you want any help and so Thanks. forth. Get hold of it. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to come in on a course at some point. It's just, okay. Yeah. All right. time. Okay. Uh, thank you. Say goodbye. Your... I'm going to press stop on the record. Have good a good luck. evening. Cheers. See you you too. Thanks a lot. Bye.